everybody, welcome to Executive Zone. My name is Edwin Zapata. We have a bloodbath out in the market. Bitcoin is down to 43,000 at the time of recording this. We have Kazakhstan losing power. It's affecting Bitcoin miners and everybody out there. And we have such a bloodbath, so much to cover. We're going to get to that in one second. Before we get started, I wanted to give a huge shout out to all of you that got started with us in our paid members group. So you started off 2022 on the right foot. But hey, maybe you're somebody that you're not too sure where you stand on your investments. Don't worry, I got you covered. It's a totally free channel. It's going to be in the description that you can just join where I share with you crypto, marketing, and trade signals that you can use to start making money. No cost at all. Make sure you take advantage of that. We've had lots of people get plenty of success. And of course, if you are not following already, make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and all the social media platforms. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you like it, and if you don't like it, you can always leave. So let's get right into it right away. We're going to start off with the chart. Now, I don't pretend to be a crypto techno technical analysis kind of guy. I'm losing my words here. A TA kind of guy. I know just basic stuff when it comes to technical analysis, but what the, the little bit that I do see, I will share with you. And hey, if I'm wrong, it's okay to be wrong. Don't worry. That's what this whole thing is about. It's about sharing what you see. And if you see something different, let's compare notes. So at the time of recording this, as you can see right here, it's at 42,000, just barely 43,000. I unfortunately see this dropping further. I don't want to say it. I don't want to be the bringer of bad news. But I see this dropping way further than this. I see it going down into the 30s. And I really don't want to see it go down to these levels. I don't want to see it hit down to 38. It's got to stay above 40. It's already been horrible news. It hasn't been a good start. Plus this Friday, you're going to have news come out of unemployment rates and all this stuff. Which it affects all the markets. And I don't see why it wouldn't affect the crypto market either so if you haven't been using trading view this is trading you by the way for those of you that don't know it is totally free make an account you will have to be facing ads and consistently close them but for its purpose it's it's all there as you start to learn things like uh, trends and fibonacci retracement you can start to add it here you can save profiles uh, no this is not a paid ad i'm just letting you know these are tools that you can use and you can have access to all the different currency pairs and also stocks to start reading charts and stuff to make use of it. You can save the your, your patterns and charts and all that, and it'll be there when you need it. So it's it makes it easier for you to take advantage of uh, analyzing charts. Now, this is what I was talking about with the bloodbath in the crypto space. Because... And by the way, all the articles will be in the description below, so you can go read them further yourself. Now, here you have things like the central bank talking about the the markets basically coming down. That's why they use words like bloodbath. That's why I use it too. Clickbaits, no problem. But that's but here they are showing you, hey, watch out, be scared. Be scared because it's it's been tanking. And we were at an all-time high not too long ago. Going back to the chart, let's get rid of this. So we were at an all-time high right here on the 10th of November, where we just barely missed 70K. And unfortunately, things have been dropping since then. In my previous videos and on my TikTok and Instagram, I've been sharing how you have Canada, you have US, you have Russia and China positioning themselves with their own CBDCs, their own central bank digital currency, where some of them are going to have or trying to basically make their currency pegged to a stable coin, their own stable coin, so that they can enter the crypto space. Some of them don't even want to enter the crypto space that we're in and they want to enter their own which is kind of weird of them to say so because technically the money that we all use right now like the the fiat money is its own digital currency when they punch a loan out in the computer that's not real money that's its own digital currency on its on their own servers from the federal reserve 
So if they wanted to continue their, you know, dog and pony show, it's only been crashing. So I don't think it would even work. The only way that this is going to work is if they tie it to this cryptocurrency, uh, like this crypto market, in my opinion. Now, when you have things like this, all right, again, you're going to have them talk about bloodbath and basically have everybody sell off. But in the back end, they are positioning themselves with their own currency. This is the oldest trick in the book you see in stocks, uh, different CEOs and all that where they will make you panic sell what you have. And then a week or a month later, they're buying it all up. It's happened all the time. It's their way of legally robbing you. Now, when you have something like this where they say nine countries are banning Bitcoin or crypto. Like, look. You have all these countries right here. And something I don't understand is you have places in the Middle East listed here. But Dubai themselves, Dubai, is trying to make their entire city crypto friendly or like the number one crypto place in the world. So that does not make sense with this. The banks positioning themselves does not make sense with this. Some of these are tied heavily into oil. So I, I wouldn't even believe this crap, this, this stuff, like the panic sell. If anything, it's more encouragement to like wait for better opportunities to buy, if anything. Now, China has been talking about having their own CBDC, has been talking about their own digital currency. They've been banning crypto for so long they banned the miners uh bitcoin miners before i get flagged for the wrong reasons they've been banning them and these these uh crypto rigs these mining rigs have been going elsewhere and that's what we're going to get to in a second but before we do with china basically having their own digital currency come out they've been piloting it all this uh, all of last year and they already have it in place. They've been giving their citizens. They can start experimenting. It's been in a beta phase all this time. And this is what it looks like. These QR codes work, by the way. I obviously can't read this, so I don't understand it. So if you can leave a comment and explain some of it, awesome. That'd be so cool. So this is actually their, their app, their platform, their digital wallet for their currency. But what if, what if... China is causing all this panic sell so that they can introduce their currency, their their crypto to be like, look, ours is superior. Ours doesn't face these power outages. Ours doesn't face this panic sell. Ours is stable. Our currency is a real stable coin. It's real and reliable because we've tested it. They have been further ahead with their technology for the last while. They were first with 5G way ahead of schedule so when you have them sharing all this stuff and then you have something like this kazakhstan is facing power outages because apparently all of these mining rigs that came from china because they have to go elsewhere and people from china went all over the world but right now we're talking about kazakhstan so kazakhstan's system is overloaded with these mining rigs and apparently they can't handle the energy russia is saying they're going to step in and help but they don't think it's enough and isn't it funny how for the last little while they've been saying how they expect some kind of cyber attack they expect some kind of blackouts and we have these media blackouts happening as well for other reasons why is it that every time they have um practice with you know catastrophic situations it just happens to follow through they they had it uh 9 11 we will get into that conversation they had you know drills and coincidentally on uh, hey look what happened around the same time you have drills on massive you know um viral situations and then wow look look at the situation we're in right now in the world what a coincidence happens at the same time. Now they're saying how they're practicing 
for worldwide blackouts and worldwide uh, digital cyber attacks. What a coincidence, don't you think? So, I w- what if what if Elon Musk steps in? What if Elon Musk steps in and says, "Hey, this is what I've been talking about this whole time," and he basically gives the finger to to those that are trying to bring things down and say, hey, I'm going to supply you with batteries. I'm going to solve this problem myself, just like he did with other places that needed power in Africa, which he did. So, you know, right now it's like, it's like anybody's game. It's like a wild card. It's just waiting to happen. So it's a huge gamble. It's, it's interesting to see everything play out. These are just my thoughts on it. Uh, Hopefully they were insightful to you. And, you know, When it comes to all this news, none of it matters if you're not taking action. You know, if you were in our paid members group on Tuesday, I shared with you how all of this news can affect prices of everything and how you can anticipate or be positioned, I should say, for news that's about to come out. All of that stuff's important. So I hope this was insightful. Like I said, make sure that you're following on social media. All the links to the articles will be in the description. And hit the like and subscribe if you liked it. And if you didn't, well then, I guess I won't see you ever again. And my name is Edwin Zapata. This is Executive Zone. I'll see you on the next one.